the first thing we need to do is to make sure we are signed into an Apple account on our iPad. So to do this, we first want to open the settings application. Once we've done this, you want to scroll up the top left hand menu, and then you should see a sign in option at the very top, where you want to go ahead and sign into your Apple account. Once you are signed into your Apple account, you should see your information on screen, just as demonstrated here. Now we are signed into our Apple account, we can exit out to the settings application. Now we just need to go ahead and download an application from the App Store. So to do that, you first want to open the App Store, and if you don't see it on screen now, you want to search for it. So to do that, you want to scroll all the way to the left to go to your App Library, and then you want to swipe down from anywhere on the screen. You can go ahead and search App Store. However, as you can see, it is already listed at the top, so we're going to tap into that. When you open the App Store for the first time, you'll be taken to the home screen, which is the Today page. We can go ahead and browse through featured apps. Alternatively, you can use the navigation bar at the top to browse games, other applications, or Apple Arcade apps, which you do need subscription to use. Now, you can also manually search for apps as well by clicking on the search icon in the top navigation bar, and then clicking on the search bar, and searching for the app you want to download. So I'm going to search for CapCut. Once you've searched for it, you see a list of results, so you want to go ahead and select the one you want. So mine is listed here at the top. Once you're inside the app page, you can scroll down to view more information about that application. So to download it, you want to scroll to the top, and you want to click on this Get button. Now it may or may not need authentication to download the app. And as you can see, it's going to require me to sign into my Apple account, so I'm going to do that now. Once we've signed into our Apple account, which will only be needed for the first application we download, you now need to use other methods of authentication, such as Touch ID, Face ID, or to enter your iPad passcode. So for this example, I'm going to use Touch ID. Now we've authenticated, the application is going to proceed to download to our iPad, and you can see the progress bar here. So now we've downloaded the application, we can exit out of the App Store, and now we can go ahead and open the application on our iPad. And if you don't see it here, yet again, you can also go ahead and search for it. Or you can find it inside of the app library. So I'm going to do that now.